Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. We're going to talk about how to know if your relationship is going to succeed. Uh, but before we do, really quickly, if you're interested in scheduling a one-on-one -on -one session with me to learn more about how private coaching can make a difference in your life, check out the link below. I highly encourage you to schedule that call with me. All right, let's talk about how to know your relationship is going to succeed. I, you know what's fascinating to me is that human beings are rather naive when it comes to relationship. And in fact, I think many people have very weak emotional I, a relationship IQ, excuse me. And what I mean to say is really understanding the fundamentals of a successful relationship. Like what does it take to build a successful, happy, healthy, delicious, juicy relationship. And, and naively, most people go about it expecting that chemistry is going to be the indication of relationship success. In other words, the stronger the, chem the chemistry, the greater success the relationship would have. And I can tell you from personal observation as well as my own experience is that the bodies are lined up from here to the moon. <laughs> that many people who have experienced the idea that chemistry will really lead to relationship success. And that's really the furthest thing from the truth. And while chemistry is highly important for relationship success, we need that sense of connection, that sense of spark and whatnot. It's actually a weak indicator of relationship success. So I'm gonna talk about the four pillars of relationship success in this video. Okay, the four pillars, the four signs that your relationship will succeed. Okay, now sign number one, we just talked about it, chemistry. Yes, we need that chemical connection, that chemical drip when we feel that, when I say chemical drip, I mean there's brain chemicals being released in our body when we feel good being around in a certain human being. So yes, we need that chemical reaction and that's highly important. But the good news is you're gonna recognize that quickly. Okay, you're gonna recognize that quickly. However, just be careful that if the chemistry is, the intensity is so high, that means you have to pay attention to these three other pillars even more so than you did ever before. So pillar number two, in my, in my four pillars to relationship success, and again, this is partially the world according to Jonathan, so just go with it for me, uh, is shared values. Do you share the same values with this person? And so I want you to think about during caveman days, when we lived in tribes, when we lived in small villages, most likely everybody shared the same values because they had the identical same upbringing when you were a small environment. But if you're someone like me who lives in Los Angeles or a big metropolitan area, and you grew up maybe even somewhere else, this is a melting pot of different cultures, different experiences, uh, different religions, and different values, different politics as well. In fact, politics and religion oftentimes are an indication of someone's value. So when two people are at the opposite ends of their politics and religion, while it's not always the case, it's, it's really a sign of what their values are if they're almost at the extreme ends. So I'm here to encourage you is get a sense of someone's values before you fully commit in relationship. And if you're not familiar, then go on Google and just type in list of values. What values do you hold dear for you? I know one value for me is the value of health. In other words, healthy lifestyle is an important value for me. That's one of the reasons why I probably wouldn't date someone who's a smoker. To me, that's not a reflection of a healthy lifestyle. And while I'm not saying that as an absolute, I'm saying that for me, that means we probably are misaligned in that value. And there's a whole list of values. And I'm not talking about honesty, integrity, and, and um, trustworthiness. Those to me are given values. Everyone should have that. But there are a number of values where you might have some differences, and I want you to lean into that. Okay, the third is what I call blendable lifestyles. Blendable lifestyles. Oftentimes people are dating people whose lifestyles are completely chaotic to one another. And I can tell you that compatibility has more to do with whether or not your lifestyles can eventually blend together than it does about things like, do you like sushi? Me too. Do you like snowboarding? I love it. Do you like the Rolling Stones? My favorite band. 
Okay, those are things of familiarity, but that's not compatibility. Compatibility is can you eventually have your lifestyles blend in with one another? And I can tell you that too often relationships that end or fail, it's because their lifestyles are just not able to get together in a very healthy, meshable way. And that's why I said love doesn't, well, I said this earlier, chemistry doesn't solve all these problems. Love doesn't solve all these problems. Practicality does, and that's why we're leaning into that. And then the fourth pillar to relationship success, or the sign of relationship will succeed, is emotional maturity. Emotional maturity. If you've been following my channel, you know I talk about emotional maturity over and over and over again. In fact, watch my uh, video called The Five Traits of a Chivalrous Man or The Six Behaviors Men Just Love. I go into a deeper dive of emotional IQ. That Whether it's a man or woman, I can tell you that emotional maturity, emotional grown-ups, uh, many men and women lack the skills to be in a healthy, happy relationship because they oftentimes, not always, have unresolved childhood traumas or childhood wounds that have been unhealed and that causes them to be very emotionally immature. So my invitation for you is to watch those videos, check those out because those are gonna help you recognize emotional maturity because emotional maturity is so desperately needed for a relationship to succeed long-term. And I know you know this, but I want you to do a deeper dive on this. And I just mentioned Jonathan's four pillars, but if you're not familiar with the book, Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman, eight dates. He goes into a deeper dive of what I just shared with you. So I highly recommend you checking out his book as well. And if you want help vetting a man to see if he has emotional maturity, then get on the phone with me, click that button, schedule a call with me, because that's my expertise is helping women recognize men who are emotionally mature versus the one who are probably going to be fumbling in the dark when it comes to their own love life. Ah. Okay, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Please post a comment below if it resonated with you. If you have something to say, if you have something to add, please say something. I want to hear about it. And don't forget, check out my links below because I have my book as well as some other valuable bits of information to help you on your journey for attracting the love you want in your life. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.